Hello, welcome back to another grocery haul. So this week, I did mention in last week's video, this week I needed to do a bit of a restock. So I went to Aldi first and it came to £135 and some change. So I've got the Kitchen Island and then some um, meaty bits at the back there for the entire month. So I did a bit of a restock for the month and that's how much it cost. And then I also went to Tesco, which I'm gonna film separately because it's over here and I don't have any like enough space to pull it out. So I'll do this on a separate video, but I got some Tesco and there was a 25% off some clothes. So Hubby and I picked up a couple of bits there as well. But I'm gonna show you the Aldi food. I also wanted to share, I've worked on this for the last month. I am so excited and really proud to bring to you a little meal planner that I have been working on. So it's got nine recipes and it's called Budget Eats. So this is it. So it's white wired bound and it's got this gorgeous cream like paper lining and then inside I've got some information on how I save money I've got meal plans that you can write into so you can plan for your week in a gorgeous little pattern I've also got monthly meal plans as well so you can write down what you're having for your dinners and any notes and recipes and it's on this beautiful beige colored backdrop I've got inventory spreadsheets for you so you can do your food items of what you have in the house so you can shop your cupboards and your fridge and freezers and then of course I've also got shopping lists so that when you go and do the big shop you can write down in the shopping list here and then I do have nine recipes which are low cost budget friendly recipes that I use in my house um, just to either save money or stretch the food budget I'm just so thrilled that it's come out looking like this. I'm just super, super happy. So I'll talk a bit more about it on a separate video. And I'll also put in the description where you can buy this from if you're interested. But back to the grocery haul. So I picked up, these are 75p in Tesco. They're one ninety nine for the ones that I like. So I saved a lot of money by getting them from Aldi. So I got some vegetable stock pots and some beef stock pots. I also got some jalapeno chili jam for hubby. I don't like spice if you know anything about me. <laughs> <laughs> you'll know that any kind of chili I'll have like chili flakes or like chili seasoning like chili spice amongst something but this right here would be definitely too spicy for me um I got some cupboardy bits so I picked up some mushy peas they were 30p you just cannot go wrong some garden peas in water some corned beef for corned beef hash and corned beef hash is in my new little booklet here recipe booklet so that's the recipe that is in there so I picked up some corned beef for that I also got some cherry tomatoes in a tin I picked up some passata 49p for this and I think that's a really good price it's 430 gram so it's you know a fairly decent size one 49p I thought that was amazing I got some cider. We're going to share this tonight. It's cranberry and clementine. We're going to celebrate the recipe book arriving with a cranberry and clementine cider. <laughs> I also picked up some extra virgin olive oil and I got some pasta sauces to have on hand. Just the, uh, I think they're the tomato and basil, are they? I think they're just the plain tomato and basil ones. I then went ahead and got some little bits for the fridge. So I keep my mayonnaise in the fridge once I've opened it. So I got some mayonnaise for that and then some garlic puree, which I also keep in the fridge. I got some baby bells. They are price matched with Aldi and Tesco. So they were 2 29 I think, for 10. So I picked up two bags of these for the month. Um, I got some cheese strings, just the one packet. So these are still on clearance at Aldi. They're just over £2. So I picked up two of these for the month. I also got some, well, I got a variety of little rices. So I brought boiling in the bag rice, which is over there. Um, but I picked up some different ones. So they've got this one, which I've had before. Very nice. Really actually quite tasty. So I got the Asian style sticky rib rice. And then this is another new one. So hope you wanted to try the Louisiana style dirty rice. So he picked up that. And then he's going to take some of these to work. So we've got mixed pepper. We've got pesto infused grains. And what's this one? Peri peri rice as well. I also got some of this seriously spreadable. I have this on crumpets. So I picked up some of these, some spring onions, some red onions, some of these brioche buttons. They had a good date on these. Um, they think they're the 25th of November. So these can stay in the cupboard 
you know, for the next three weeks and I don't have to use them immediately. So I've got some of those to have in the cupboard. I also got some tomato puree for my barbecue nachos and I picked up these caramel wafer biscuits. I got a massive cucumber. I've never seen <laughs> a cucumber this. It's huge. Look at it. It's massive. So I got a large cucumber and then I also got six mini pork pies. They've got... Um, did I get the apple ones? No, they've got pickle in. They sell the pork and apple, which I did want to try, but hubby wanted to try the pickle. So we said we'll get the pickle this time and apple next time. So I got six of those. I got some limes. I got some sweet peppers. I got some tomatoes on the vine. I also picked up some pink lady apples and a bunch of bananas. I got some sliced bread. I also picked up this for dinner. We're going to have halloumi on this this week. So I got two kebab wraps and then I got a, a bit of uh, ravioli already done. So like freshly prepared. Um, I think this was 2 39 It was more expensive than the tortellini, but we've never tried it before. So we thought we'd give it a go. So I got buffalo milk, ricotta and spinach. And then I got the parmigiano. Definitely said that wrong. I picked up some more lasagna sheets for the cupboard and then these five items are for Christmas. So I got them now to put away for Christmas. So I got these quadruple chocolate or butter cookies. They've got the chocolate on the outside and they look delicious. I got these four cheese bites to put away for Christmas. I don't know if they're going to survive till Christmas. <laughs> I'm not sure, but they look so inviting. And then I got the cheddar cheese and onion chutney bites as well. And then I do buy these on the regular. I wanted to get these stocked up for Christmas. They're one pound and seven now. I think or £1.11 they've gone up in price by like 10p they used to be a pound so I got two tubs of the cheese crackers and the last thing I got on here to show you except for the stuff behind me so I just picked up some toilet roll and I also got some Heinz beans and Heinz tomato soup so this is Tesco price matched with Aldi I think it was 3 49 for four tins of Heinz beans and then the same price for four tins of Heinz tomato soup as well. And then moving on to the back of the kitchen, I got these chicken breast portions. They're really nice, like it's a really tasty meat. Um, they're slightly more expensive in price. So they're $4.97 and this is just under a kilogram. So you get four, which is like two dinners for us. So I picked up these to stick in the freezer. I also got these sausages to stick in the freezer. I picked up some frozen pigs in blankets, which I'm going to put away for Christmas, I think. We've got some chorizo style sausages. We're going to do pasta with um, a chorizo style sausage this week. So I picked up those. I got a chocolate gatto probably to have this weekend. I'm probably going to have that tonight. Um, not, not the whole thing. Well, actually, maybe the whole thing. <laughs> I'm joking. I also got some mashed potato. I got some... Um, Yorkshire puddings, just a six pack there. Some more pasta. I didn't need too much pasta, but I want to get it for the month. So I picked up this one and then I got some boil in the bag rice, four packs of the Sereno ham just to keep stocked up, two packs of the 5% steak mince. Half a pack is a, a meal. So that's two meals. And then two packs is four meals. And we have this once a week. So that's four weeks of steak mince. We've got some pork mince, which we're going to have with a noodle dish. Four bags of bacon, which I'm going to pop in the freezer and then we'll just pull it out and use it as and when. Um, I also got some diced beef. I couldn't find any beef shin. I don't think Aldi do it. I think it's Lidl that do it. Um, so I was disappointed really, but I got some of this anyway for casserole. I got cheese. I get all of my cheese from Aldi now because it's so much cheaper. So I got a big block of this white cheddar, which I'll grate. Two blocks of Red Leicester for the week and next week and the week after, hopefully. I also got two lots of eggs. These last until the 15th of November. So we usually use six eggs a week. If Hubby's doing his carbonara, which is this page here in the recipe book, um, he will use four of these egg yolks. So we'll definitely get through six of these a week. So I like to keep eggs on hand and make sure I've got enough in the cupboard just in case we fancy like a scrambled egg for breakfast, things like that, or a fry up. So I've got two packs of these for the next two weeks at least. And then the last thing I picked up was these chicken breast mini fillets. It's a massive large pack. This is gonna go straight in the freezer. This will probably do three meals. So I'll portion it off, stick them in the freezer, and then I've got three meals for that. 
So that is everything from Audi for 135 quid and then some change. I am going to show Tesco. I'm going to film Tesco separately, but I also got like other things from Tesco that I desperately needed and then some clothes, which I'll do in a separate video. But for now, that is the end of this monthly grocery haul. So £135 for two people. We've got a few more bits to show you down there. But for now, <laughs> that is the end. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I brought from Audi. If you are interested in this meal planner and recipe little booklet, do check out the link in the description below. I hope that you will have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're up to. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.